Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this video we're going to talk about some of the things that have been uh, done to it and what's going to be happening in the future of this week. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for this week what we're really going to be aiming to do is that we're going to be looking ahead and trying to uh, basically finish up sort of the... Uh, we're going to be looking ahead and trying to finish up the port over to Stardust Engine, as that's pretty much the main focus right now, including all the UI things. This means that without a UI system, we're not going to be able to do that until that Stardust gets that UI system, which is actually tomorrow. And I'm going to be making a very special video about that, considering the way that Stardust Engine's UI is going to work, and how uh, that actually impacts a lot of things, and how it's really easy for you to make a UI in Stardust Engine. This being said, the system is still incomplete, and it's still in the works, but by tomorrow you'll have basically a sample of that, and we're going to be working ahead with a JSON sample in order to be able to basically do the rest of the Minecraft PSP menu. This is actually a really cool sort of thing to be able to do, because it allows you to go ahead and uh, basically look at uh, different things in the UI. It lets you select and do everything like that through a completely remote sort of standpoint, and it's actually very useful for uh, basically indicating what's going on within the program. It also responds well to events, event listeners, and things like that, and it's actually a very complete system, which allows basically you to use the UI no matter where you are and no matter what uh, sort of layout you have. It's pretty intuitive and easy to use, so long as you're following some general guidelines. This being said, UI is pretty simple, and it also allows you to do things including stuff like the action handlers and action listeners, which allow you to do a lot more. Uh, so for example, when you press a button, when you change a value, it calls a listener that basically updates things. This is a really useful system, as it basically allows buttons to have functions that can be written very, very simply and don't actually need to impact too much code. This being said, the system is still kind of in work in progress mode right now, uh, but will basically be done uh, very soon, allowing Minecraft PSP to continue on with its adventures. So I appreciate your patience as you wait, and I'll have another video out tomorrow. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.